Apples, socks, rugby. All right, let's get started. Apples, that's the first word. It is fall. That is, I am like, everywhere you smell, there's like pumpkin this and that. And today especially, it's really crisp outside. It reminds me of, I grew up in Oklahoma, and it, I, we, my brother and I, we'd take the bus home from school. And I remember, we almost knew it. We would get off the bus, and we'd have to go like a block, like run through this field. Yes, I'm from the country. And we would run, block, and we'd be all like tired, and, or not sweaty, you know, but with the cool air. And we'd run inside, and my mom had cleaned house all day, and she had opened up the windows, and the beautiful fall air was coming in. But more than anything, we were just hit with the smell of caramel apples. It was just so sweet. And more than anything, it was just, it was wonderful. And it was a memory that I still have very strongly today. And it's such a good example that, you know, if you're watching this right now, you're thinking you need to buy a gift for somebody or you need to do something for somebody, think about making a memory instead. A, it's a lot cheaper. And B, just spending time with them is what we really all want anyway. And also, you know, I bet you like 20, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, they're not going to remember what you bought them. That's not where they're, they're going to keep, but they're going to keep that memory a lot longer. Okay, my second word is feet. I'm talking about socks, people. We're talking about foot covering. Uh, I was talking with my business partner, Mark, the other day, and he was saying how he just bought a pair of socks. And he thought, you know, you don't really buy socks all the time. You think, oh, I don't need those right now. Or you kind of put that off. And he said, but really, they're not that expensive. And that got me to thinking too, I came home and I looked in my sock drawer and if I brought home a little gentleman collar, he would think a hobo lived here if he looked in my sock drawer. It was rips and, and holes, it was bad. And I thought, and I went out and got a pair of socks too and it wasn't that expensive. And it made me think too, like what else in my life is not that big of a deal? Like either not that expensive or doesn't really take that much time, but I don't do it. And then I realized, I had a little aha, it's about taking care of myself. And that's what this is about. We put all, we do things for other people. We're going, going, going. We think, I don't have time to, you know, meditate for two minutes. I don't have time to watch my favorite 20-minute show on TV. I don't have time to watch Three Little Words by Matt Maher. But the deal is, Sugar, you probably do. You just need to stop, drop, and breathe. I just came up with that right now. I love that. The fire department should do it. Stop, drop, and breathe. I love it. My third word is rugby. You know I love a rugby player shirt. Who doesn't love a rugby player? They're so manly and just... Mainly I'm talking about a rugby player from Britain named Ben Cohen. Ben Cohen is this awesome, awesome straight guy who totally has started this anti-bullying campaign. It's actually anti-bullying month, just so you know, in October. And uh, what he did, he's going around to different bars all around the country and the world even and just talking to people about bullying. It's not that complex. It's just about starting a dialogue. And what I love about it is that people are thinking, why, why is this beautiful man who, I mean, he looks like Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. He's like rugged and handsome, except for he's not me. Ben does what a lot of people are afraid to do is just talk about the situation. And you're wondering why is he standing up for bullying? Because a lot of people think that's just like a gay issue or with a lot of gay kids committing suicide. It's just about that, but it's not. Everybody's affected by bullying. So my hope for you this week is that even if you don't think you're affected by bullying, just start a conversation. Ask someone in your family, your church, your community, your work. Ask them if they've ever been bullied. And you know what? You're probably going to hear a story, and you might even realize that you've been in, involved in bullying, or you might have been bullied yourself, too. That's it. That was three little words for today, y'all. Three more words for you, remember. Subscribe, comment, and share. Press that little button right there, and then next week when we make a new video, you'll just get a little email. It's like technology just working. Also, put some comments, like what you like about the show, what you want me to talk about, and lastly, share it. We gotta get the word out. We gotta spread some, some little five minute of joy to people. Share it with your friends, your, your church, your, your, your rugby team. If you have a rugby team, send me a picture, please. Please.